Hey, do you think you can help me just open my guitar? Yeah. So you got it with you? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. What do you need set up on it? Uh, just the action. You want it lowered? It's or hired? <laughs> <laughs> Which are Okay, you say, know? all right. First of all, we're having this conversation because the hag's from such a good guitar. This gentleman doesn't know whether he wants to lower or raise his action, correct? Is that right? Or do you want to lower it? We want to lower it a bit. Lower it a bit. Uh, yeah, lowering your action is means the, the action on your strings is, show them where the action is. The action on your strings is how far away the strings are from the fret, okay? Because guys like jazz guys and uh, and and real guys like to go really fast on their guitars like rock and roll guys they like the light gauge strings with the strings as close to the frets as possible so they can just you know like a keyboard but uh, blues guys and uh, some uh, bluegrass guys and other guys like that like it a little bit higher and a little bit bigger strings and the bigger strings naturally bring it up higher anyway because that's just the nature of the beast bigger bigger cables make for a Stretch in the neck. All right, so. Rick, fix that amp. Yeah. It's works. It works. There's, a, there's an amp for sale. Marshall. GCM 2000 DSO 4 All tubes, ladies and gents. All tubes. Follow me, follow me, follow me. What's up with you guys? Good to talk about PA. Okay. You guys bought a PA from me? Yeah. Yeah, you satisfied with it? Yes. Uh, all right. <laughs> how about you, Ken? Hey, hey, how you doing? You buying doing? a keyboard from me on time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Right on. Most you, definitely. And you're here to play it, right? And I'm here to also get some, some symbols, symbols and everything. All right. from Let's all right. keep going. I'll, I'll, check, I'll take care of everyone. All right. This place looks nice and neat. <laughs> we got Rick Eller here. Rick Eller, meet the uh, American public. There's 200,000 people looking at you right now. <laughs> That's what they told me down at the, at the TV, TV station anyway. Uh -oh. 200,000. Potentially. So we want all 200,000 people in, in Muskegon County watching this show on Saturday night. Have you heard of TiVo? You should get that. That works really good. Otherwise, you don't even need cable television. In fact, I want everyone to get a black and white television set with those things, rabbit ears, and, uh, and watch my show through the air. Because when you watch it through the air, you can see the alien transmissions go in and out, go in and out, go in and out. You know? Go in and out. No, I didn't mean go in and out. Can you see the alien transmissions? Yeah? Oh, I can. Oh, God. I didn't party last night, but I, I shoveled some yeah. snow. Oh, no. Man, alive. Hard work. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Let's cut to one of our commercials that we're going to make, right? And then right when we get back, we're going to talk about... This down here, which is the School of Music, and this is Rick Eller. He's working on guitars. Right over there, pan over there. That's Steve Schnell. These are my crew. Where's Kathy? She didn't want to be on TV. <laughs> we got another girl that works here, Kathy. She's our lifesaver. She'll probably be on next week, but uh, she don't. She didn't want to be on the show because she wanted out. I'd embarrass her or something like that. <laughs> what do you think of my new glasses? I like them. Yeah. Me and Rick are like them a lot. Me and Rick are we're, we're like them. them are nice glasses. <laughs> we're both using those. They work well. We're show, we're sharing glasses. <laughs> Rick uses them so he can get in and close, and I use them because I get in close to some nearsighted. <clears throat> but you can see your fingerprints with these damn things. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let me see your fingerprints, Rick. Spin it over. I burned them off last Holy week. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, shouts out to Brooks Correctional Facility. I got something to talk about that in a minute. It's pretty cool. So. <laughs> Canvas. Canvas. Black guitar. Now look at this guitar, man. It's black. It's beautiful. 
plays like a million dollars. A million dollars, this guitar plays like. It's got cool black pickups, black guitar, black back here, kick ass tuners. I can't say enough cool things about this guitar. I love this guitar. I don't even want to sell it to you guys. Watch out, don't, don't go in the streets. Ready? Yep. Uh, he's giving me the money already. It's very little, but it's for the church. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try to find his band some cymbals. They, they need a whole set of cymbals and a stool for $115. So it's very hard. <laughs> well, he's going to make it happen. Because we got all these crazy cymbals, we can't find any of them sound very good. <laughs> but we do have a stool there. We found it. You know, we could sell cheap. Oh, we found this. I know this B8 ride is... You know, it's probably cost about $115 new, and it's probably worth about 90, 85, 90 bucks. So that's the brunt of the money right there. So 85, 90, and then the stool, you know, the cheapest I could sell would be like 15 bucks, because that's what they cost me, but it's, it's used, so 85, 90. Now we gotta try to find him a $15 symbol. <laughs> Which is pretty said, much impossible. He said it was one in the back, so. <laughs> He's going away in the back. All right. You might be able to use one of these 14 inch hi hats. <clears throat> I got this extra hi hat bottom that's just kind of sitting there. We've tried everything else. We tried this camber with a symbol protector. I don't know why yeah. somebody put a symbol. Oh, that just came off my symbol. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Darn it. This thing sounded kind of cruddy. Yeah. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you about symbols right now, okay? And the, why I sell the symbols. That's, that's the best one yet. But he's going to I turned it that way. That would, that would loosen it, right? If you turn it this way, you're tightening it. Oh, really? You're straightening the neck out more. It's really hard to find a, a, a $15 symbol that sounds good, especially in the store where, you know, I'll tell you what we sell. We sell the Peisty PST-5, which is the best sounding symbol ever for the money, and I can't keep them. Come here, I'll show you where they are at, you know what I mean? But, but you can't buy them for $15, but you can buy them for pretty, pretty darn cheap. I don't even know if I got one in here. I don't know. See, I sold them all. What I can do is get them into something like a good... This will work. This will work. That's like crud too. There's nothing you can do. You sound like the gong show, man. Yeah, it does. Now, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, I don't even know if I have any here because I sold them all. Sold every single one of them I had. Oh well, that's the way it goes. What's up? See, these are all expensive symbols, even though they're old, they sound kick ass. All right, well, Steve's out looking for that symbol in the very back. We got a storage area in the back. Uh, I'll t I'm going to demonstrate some stuff about drums. Okay, come here, this is kind of what I want to talk about. All right, this is the school of. Here he is, here comes Steve. School of music. School of music. All right, school of music. Now, I I'm going to show you how we teach beginners to play drums in one lesson. And uh, Brooks Correctional Facility, if you're, at, if you're out there, you can learn how to play drums without sticks, okay? Right here, all right? This is how I play drums. Watch this. You can learn to be a drummer and not drive your cellmate crazy. Now watch this. This is how I play drums in, in, in the joint. Watch. You know I'm getting at? And you can do this all freaking day long. Here's your hi-hat. Here's your hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe you get some sticks from somebody. I don't know. You know. <laughs> watch, watch. And then it goes like this on a hi-hat, right? This is your hi-hat up here. 
and use your snare right down here. You're like, t -t 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 one. All right, this is how we learn how to play drums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's like juggling. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And boom. Bop. Da 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 da. Boom. Da 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 da. Boom. Da da boom. Da da boom. Da da boom. Da da boom. Boom. Da 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 da. Boom. Da 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 da. Boom. Low time. Bop. 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 Crash. Crack. Watch. 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 So kids, you can do this too. You know, you can do this every way you do. So if you join the school of music and you become a drummer, right? It's like this. This is how you become a drummer. You put these things in your hands. Anybody want to be a drummer in this room? Yeah. Isaiah, are you, are you a drummer? Pan over to Mr. Mohawk. Mr. Mohawk. Mr. Mohawk. What's your first name, bro? Johnny. Johnny. Johnny yeah, wants to be a drummer. So here's a, here's how you be a drummer, man. Put these soldiers in your hands. I just don't let go. All right, now don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go until you get a record contract. That's gotcha. what I'm saying, right there. Right on, just keep them in your hands, and then like if your hands get all sweaty and you can't hold them no more, put them in your back pocket. You know, you guys are now everybody's tucking their shirts in. So where before you could walk around and get away with, you don't even know you ain't got them there. You know, <laughs> you ain't got them. You go into school and you know, you never let these go. You'll be a drummer. And they're only five bucks, you can get them down here. Did you find any symbols? This one he got. Those are high hats. I can't break those up. What about this right here? No, this is the one that you had on. Oh, that's crud. This is the one that you tried on there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's really? He found that out there? No, he found that one. That's why it's still cold. This one right here. Still cold. He found this one? Yeah. That one goes with this one that we were just whacking on. So that's a set of high hats. So, oh. Steve! Kick ass, man. You just made a set of high hats. Congratulations to you. These are matching symbols, ladies and gents, and then we call them hi-hats. They're 14 inch, they go on top of each other. And that'll be great for a little kid that drives. I know, what if I gave him, uh, you know, I got a hundred and, I got 85 bucks on that symbol, which is a good price. Just give it, yeah. Just give 90, some, uh, 100, just have to take that. I mean, that's a good looking symbol. You know, it sounds like crud. He can tell him not to crack it and he can trade it in later, okay? Okay. There you go. You're done. Right. Hey, pan off. See, it's Ken's going to teach fret now. Okay. keyboards and here. I'm, I'm way down here. And, uh, and this is the keyboard room right here. You play aggressive. Of course, all our rooms always get filled up with little guitars because we like guitars so much. Guitars are like mushrooms around here. They just kind of grow on the side of the walls and stuff. But this is the keyboard room, and this is the keyboard. Okay? So if you want to send your kids down here to learn how to play keyboards, check this one. Oh! Let's get into it. Grab it down here. A friend of mine made this case, and then they gave him a case. All right, see? Feel that. It's weighted keys. So this is just like a piano. Piano, yeah. But it's got real keys, so if somebody wants to learn piano, you can come down to more music and learn piano on this. Thing. And this is the best way to learn it because it strengthens up your fingers. Right on. This thing ain't light. Back that way. Okay. And it ain't, and it's long. Let's just set it right here. And there, it's kind of nice right there. All right, so this is the school of music. And Ken, Ken works here. I work here. Turn around, pan in here. This is the girls' room. Because uh, we don't have any rock and roll or skulls or any, anybody doing anything crazy. It's just a nice little picture of uh, the Woodstock picture of the chicks hugging. and. You know, you got to be able to see what you look like, man or male or female. It's good to know what you're looking like when you, you know, when you when you're rehearsing. Hey, hey, I look like a dork, but you know, I just woke up. We tape the show every every Saturday now at five o'clock. So if you want to be part of the show, you can come down here 
and be uh, part of the show. You know, be, hang around, get in the way, do whatever you want. Take care, finish up your, uh... Okay, take care. <laughs> All right, take it easy, bro. All right, these guys are setting the intonation and uh, doing a little final adjustment on... What's your first name again? Tom. Tom's Hagstrom, <laughs> which Tom's pretty happy with his Hagstrom. Yep. We're just making it just a little bit better. Just tweaking it in. How's it going, boss? Good. Good. Setting up really nice. Rick, you playing somewhere tonight? No, I'm not. How about next tonight. week? Next mm -hmm. Saturday, because this is actually going to be shown on the following Saturday. Um, I will be playing in Grand Rapids. Where at? Howlin' Moon Saloon. He's going to be at the Howlin' Moon Saloon. <laughs> right? That's a nice country joint, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll come down there. I, I retired last night. Uh -oh. oh, man, I did some bad things lately. <laughs> <laughs> I've been kind of going bonkers. I, I like I told uh, told you last week. I've you know, I've been playing for 25 years, man. You know, and I've never ever taken any time off at all. And I'm gonna take six months off from just we weekend be, gigs. We will be doing a benefit at Seven Mile Inn for someone who was in a bad car accident and got burnt real bad. So if anybody wants to come up and have a hamburger and a beer and listen to a good country rock band, we'll be at Seven Mile Inn. January 29th. It's January 29th, 29th Seven Mile Inn. Seven Mile Inn. Benefit. Yep. Was that a Sunday? Yes. January 29th at Seven Mile Inn. You can hear the Bad Old Boys. Is that what you guys are called? Bad Old Boys? Bad Old Boys. Oh, yeah, I've seen your name around now. So tonight, or next week tonight, being a week from tonight, you're in Grand Rapids at the Howlin' Moon Saloon. I'll be there with a band called Eagle River. Eagle River. So you play in a few different country bands. Let me see your hat. Spin around here, man. Let me see that hat. Look at that hat. Look at this hat. That's bad to the bodies. <laughs> uh, so Steve does all the repairs and sets up and stuff like that. And he, you know. And that's going good. And then we do amp repairs over here. And we just repaired Cat's amp, but then we had to repair it again. And now we're going to have to send it back. It's a bad amp. But it's got a big warranty, see? So... Sometimes things happen, but it's a crate amp, and it's fully transferable warranty, so if Kat would get sick of this amp, she could sell it to some other poor guy. No, this is a good amp. It just needs a little repair we don't know how to do. Uh, it's got something to do with this DSP, which is a computerized thing. They just got to change the chip out. But we figured that out. But as a five-year warranty on that little stupid amp. Did I say that? Chip. Five-year warranty on any chips or switches or whatever, and a two-year warranty on the speakers. So that's crate products we sell down here. So we sell crate, and we sell uh, Randall amps. We sell uh, Washburn guitars, Kona guitars, Canvas guitars, and uh, Hagstrom, our buttes. And uh, but Washburn are kick butt too. We just don't. Well, right, let's check we have some models. Let's talk about Washburn a little yeah. bit, man. We always ignore Washburn because that's our, really our big name brand that we don't have to sell. I don't have to sell you on a Washburn because guess what? I got Washburn because we rocked out, man. Beerman's went out of business, and I and I've seen Washburns around this town for years, and Beerman sold them for years. Be Washburn's been around for a hundred years, but so was Beerman's. What the hell happened? That's bad news, man. That's that's just, they, he got a bad deal on that thing. When they tore down Sears, they might as well not have sold him Beerman's. All right, but here's a Washburn. And this is an affordable guitar, ladies and gentlemen. It's got a set neck, just like a, you know, like an expensive guitar. And Washburn's got their own little, see how it kind of does a little, so pretty. This is a brand new guitar. A little dusty because that's what happens up here. But... It's got the uh, all sorts of cool stuff on it. The voice control, contour control. Uh, first time ever a guitar that incredibly blends warm humber for tones with the twang of a single coil. Best of all, no annoying hum. All right, see what it does here is, instead of these just being regular tone knobs, they're more like, uh, which nobody uses except for jazz guys. Now they're, now, now they're using, they use these tone knobs 
So when you, it's actually a, a tone, when you turn it back about five, six of the way, it goes toneless, right? It, start, it takes the treble out. But once you get closer to the other side, it becomes a single coil. So you understand what it is? It's like, it's like a tone, it's like a single, it, it, pros don't know what I'm talking about. Usually you got these little, like, here's our Hagstrom. This Hagstrom is outfitted with, with uh, fit, their own brand, they're called 58 pickups, they're, they're quite a bit like Gibson 59s, but they're one better because they're one older, get it? 59 is cool, if, if a 59 is cool, then a 58 is one cooler. <laughs> and my aunt goes to 11. My aunt, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> All right, now watch. See this little switch here? This little switch switches this to single coils, and you get that more of a, oh, you know, more of a Fender sound. It definitely doesn't sound like a Fender, but it gets you that more twangy tone. Well, Washburn's eliminated that and given you, given it to you right here. So you turn this, and it goes into a single coil, fully twanged, and in the middle, it's kind of dulled out. So that's a cool guitar, it's brand new. You peel that tape off there. It's got a rosewood fingerboard. Uh, Washburn 18 to one gear ratios, all sorts of nice stuff all over the place. Hey, my phone's ringing, let me go try to park. I'm not a regular customer, but. <laughs> She's not a regular customer, but she just stepped in to get some picks. And we just got a huge assortment of picks and that kind of gives me a chance to talk about my picks about, all right? Okay. What's your first name? Amy. Amy. Well, I Amy, I just spent. Though. $1,500 on all these little cruddy things. I hated doing it because I could have bought a couple nice guitars for that. But it has to be done here at the shop. And so, I mean, there's so many. These are confetti picks. Okay. They're easy to find if you drop them on the floor. Okay. Okay. That's why those are nice, fellas, if you're playing live. Same with these. These are pink, even though they're pink and purple. That, that might seem like a feminine color, but a lot of guys use them because they're easy to find if you drop them on the floor. I used to use this pick right here religiously for years before I became a dealer and could get any of the picks I wanted. That's a great, perfect pick. Okay. You know, it's right in the middle. It'll last a long, long time. Okay. You can have one. Or is it for her? No. Uh, who's it for? Dad? It's for me. You're, you're going to think I'm silly, but I'm going to use them on a scrapbook page. My brother was in a band. Yep. And it's all a layout about him. Well, you and want so, something macho? Well, I want something orange, mm -hmm. I think. Got them all over the place. Yeah, probably orange. And... Would you like a wedgie? That's funny sure. to say. Ha, 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 ha. It's a joke. Like a Would you like a wedgie? Like a wedgie. <laughs> These are brand new picks that I just, uh, they're in bright colors. There's a bright orange right there. Yeah, actually, this is. That's a perfect pick right there. That's cool Feel how it's got the little indentation oh, yeah. in it? Yep. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, the layman feels the indentation <laughs> in the wedgie pick. And what it does, it's got a little little indentation there. You, I, you can probably see it a little bit on the camera. Watch. See that? Can you see it? There you go. I'm crazy. All right, let's put that back in there. <laughs> no, I did it in my eye. I'll keep it over here. All right. How much are they? 50 cents or five for two bucks. Okay. Just want one? Well, no, no, I want a few of them. Yeah, probably five. Okay. These are real traditional picks right here. Okay. Celluloid. Oh, yeah, those are cool. Tortoise shell. Yeah, those are cool. These are Jim, Jim Dunlop tortoise shell 351s. Is the most popular pick ever made. You will... Hey, speaking of picks, okay, you want... How many of those you want? Um, I'm going to do five of those, too. Okay. Got some money for me there, honey. Thank you so much. Thank you, sweetheart. Nah, just take care of that. Thank you. And uh, here's a few free picks for being sweet. Free picks for being sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll grab the bag. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Keep coming back, honey. Right, thank thanks. you very much. Have a good day. You too. Hi, honey. How are you? I sure love my wife. 
You sure love yourself too, don't you? What you want? I'm doing a television show right now. But I... Oh yeah, I gotta mention, uh, gotta mention Colin and Ron Vile. They watch my show every Saturday too. That's my cousins. They own uh, Getty, St Getty Street Grill, best breakfast in town. Mm, yummy, yummy. Lunch is good too, right? Best. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, this one dude, and then we're gonna sign off. Bye, honey butter. All right. Okay, now this kid brings in this hags from base, and I'm just my mouth is watering. But he, then he tells me that his dad gave it to him and he ain't gonna sell it. And you know who I'm talking about, Dad. Maybe not. Maybe you watch my show, maybe you don't. It don't matter. <laughs> the heck else is there to watch on Saturday night at 10 o'clock? That's why I picked that time slot. Saturday nights, 10 o'clock. Is that a 10? Yes. Saturday nights, 10 o'clock. And if the aliens are watching... Man, I woke up with a her terrible headache this morning. What the heck did we do last night? I don't even remember that. I think parts of it are coming back. It's freaking me out. So if you watch my television show on 38, you'll see the transmissions go in and out. All right, Sherlock system. It cannot fail. It's made out of nylon, the same thing that holds helmets onto people's heads when they jump out of airplanes. So don't tell me nylon ain't kick butt. It's better than metal. It's better than a Dunlop strap lock system because it's made out of nylon. And if it does start fail, you can see it coming a mile away. A Dunlop and all these other strap lock systems use a little teeny tiny spring, which shoves a little teeny tiny piece of metal up into a little piece of metal metal. And that's supposed to hold on my $20,000 guitar. Well, it's, I don't trust it. So this is what I use. You put this on here like this. You snap that in, you snap that down, and you're set. Ba -da 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 -da. Look at that. Can you see that, folks? That's a brand new guitar, man. No one should do that. I just did that to prove a point. Now watch, I do it on this side. Here we go. Goodbye. <laughs>